The Mermaid Who Wanted to Dance by Linda Underwood I'd love some red shoes, said Miranda one day. I'd love to go dancing like my land cousin Faye. You're a mermaid, said Neptune, and mermaids don't dance. They swim and they sing, but they certainly don't prance. But I'd love some red shoes to go tippity-tap, to hear people cheer and to hear people clap. You've got a tail, reasoned Neptune, and no sense of style. And shoes wouldn't fit you. Go swim for a while. Miranda sat sulking, her nose in the air. If she wasn't to dance, then she'd sit and despair. Don't fret, dear Miranda, came a voice from the deep. She turned very primly to hazard a peep. It was Faye, her land cousin, swam out from the shore. Faye had two legs and two feet and much more. She could not only swim, she could walk, she could dance. Miranda was miffed and resumed her hurt stance. <coughs> Said Faye, have my spare pair of red shoes so dainty and sweet. Come swim to the cove and there we will meet. So off the girls swam, their aims to fulfill. At last, cried Miranda, all flushed with the thrill. And there in the sand dunes, behind a small rock, there sat some red shoes to go clippity-clop. Faye pushed, and Miranda, she tugged like a drudge. But the pretty red shoes, no way would they budge. Oh dear, sighed Faye. It is not meant to be, for mermaids are meant to just swim in the sea. Tis best we just do what we can and do well, for a pig cannot fly and a mute cannot tell. Miranda was saddened, it had to be said, but she could at least swim to the ocean's deep bed. Faye might have red shoes and go tippity-tap, but to play with seahorses was better than that. The end.